In our previous video, we have learnt how to install Angular Material in our application. Angular Material provides us good UI options. Some of the UI components are very easy to use, but some of the UI components are little bit complex. In this video, we will learn how can we generate some of the components automatically with the help of Angular Material. Now, I am in the Angular Material website. Here we have components. In our previous video, we have discussed about few components. Now, we will see about these codes. Let's click on this button component. We have overview. Then we have some more examples that we can use in our application. Here we have some types of button. Um, this is the basic button and this is the raised button. And we have animation on these buttons. Let's see the code of this button. To see the code, we have to click here. Here we have the HTML. We have to use this particular code to use this button. Um, there are uh, some more attributes that we can use. Here we are having mat raised button. I can simply use this code to generate a button. Using a button is very simple. This is specific to Angular. Now let's see about side navbar. Using this side navigation bar, we can use the navigation from left side. This is a responsive navigation bar. If I want to use this uh, side navigation bar, then I have to write some code. We can do this in two ways. First way is uh, we have to go to the particular page and we can use the code from here. We can copy this code and paste it in our application. Then it will work. In the second way, we can simply uh, generate all the components automatically with the help of Angular material. For that, click this guide. Here we have schematics. Scroll down. Here we have all the components or schematics. With the help of Angular material, we can generate all these components automatically. Uh, here we have form, navigation, dashboard, table, tree. And we have some more components. If you want to generate component with code by using Angular material, then you have to use this command. To generate a new component, we always use ng generate and component. But here we have to use at the rate Angular, then material, what type of component I want to use. Basically, all these types of component we can use. If I want to use address form, then I can use this one. Um, if I want to use navigation, then I can use this command, etc. Then we have to provide the name of the component. Angular will generate the component automatically with the entire code. Now let's try this in Angular application. To understand this concept, let's create new Angular application. I want to create this new application in the folder location. Here type this command ng new and then application name will be web app material. Here I do not want to use angular routing so type n and then press enter. Use default style sheet so press enter. Application is created successfully. Now navigate to project folder. Let's open this application in VS Code Editor. Now let's run this application using this command ngserve-o. Here expand this app folder. Let's open this app.component.html file. Let's remove this from here and save the changes. Okay. Now, I want to generate some component using Angular material. Uh, for that, first we have to install this one. So copy this command. And go to VS Code Editor, open the new terminal, paste the command and press enter.
the application is running in the browser here we don't have anything because we have removed uh, everything from app component.html file now we are installing angular material would you like to proceed type y then press enter now choose the default thing and uh, material typography styles type y packages installed successfully okay now i want to generate few components uh, that are already written by the angular material okay I want to add this uh, navigation so copy this command from here go to VS code editor paste it and type the component name let's say editor and press enter see here inside this app folder we have editor folder inside this we have four new files let's open this html file here we have the entire code in let's open this component.ts file here also we are having code in css file here also we are having some code by using this method we can generate component with uh, entire code automatically um, if i want to use this component in ui then copy this uh, selector app editor and we will use it uh, in the app component.html file so paste it and save the changes let's see in the browser you can see here we are having menu and this is the title now choose right click and choose inspect now uh, we are in browser mode so here we are having a side navigation bar at the left side and we have the title if i click on the mobile view side navigation bar is hidden if i click on this three button we are getting this menu here okay now let's generate few more components automatically now i will use this uh, address form so copy this command and go to vs code editor paste it and type the component name let's say address then press enter you can see here uh, inside this app folder now we got a new folder address expand this uh, inside this uh, we have four new files open a component file now copy this selector and we will use it in the app component.html file let's comment this code and paste it save the changes let's see in the browser okay yeah stop the execution and again run this application using this command ng servo you can see here we have the complete address form here we have the drop downs and we have some radio buttons in postal code we can enter number only we cannot enter any text and we have submit button click this button here uh, we have the alert message so it is working fine and it has all the validations um, ui also responsive now let's click this mobile view you can see here all of them are toggled automatically this is the proper um, ui form this is how we can use angular material to generate the code automatically
if you want to see the code of this uh, particular component go to vs code editor let's open this address.component.html file see here as of now we do not know anything about this uh, form group so leave it here we are having input and row and column now let's use one more component go back to the browser here now i want to use this table so copy this command paste it and component name let's say table then press enter see here here we got uh, one more component inside this uh, we have four new files component and spec.ts file and we have html and css file and here we have one more file that is data source uh, generally we can get this data from a particular web api but in angular material just for the reference um, it is provided in the data source now i want to use this table component in ui let's open this table component here copy this selector we will use it in the app component.html file so command this code and paste it and save the changes see here uh, we are having a proper table you can click this id um, to short the data we can short it in ascending or descending order we can short name also okay here we have the proper paging now change it to five see here we have five records in the table click next okay it is working fine now change it to 20 we are having all the records in the single file okay there are so many other components uh, that we can use uh, that we can generate by using angular material we can generate dashboard and uh, tree drag drop once you generate the component try to make some change in the code then only you will understand the proper um, use of all these components i hope this video is helpful to you um, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this